Hello, hello. Happy Wednesday, guys. I hope you all are doing well, and thanks for joining me here today. In today's video, we are going to be working on my white rustic imports hutch. I'm going to be using some of the same pieces. Why? Because I love them. I love my black and white check plates, but I am going to downscale it just a bit and then add some new pieces. I'm also planning on showing you my new table and chair set. And guys, I gotta tell you this, I know I, I'm on repeat, but some people come back in and they're like, Liz, you need to show the whole space. And I'm like, guys, my house is small. It's so small. And if I were to show you the whole space before I've gotten to show you some new things, I would have no content. So in today's video, I'm, I'm not going to be showing this back wall over here because we may be doing that on Friday. Today, we're focused on the hutch and the dining room set. And uh, I'm excited. So let's get started. And can we just take one second to admire that beautiful mirror? I have to tell you, since hanging it, best decision ever. I absolutely am in love with this mirror. And like I said, you know, um, mirrors bring in a reflective property and it just kind of lightens and opens the space and gives it an airy feel. Plus, like I said, we've got this beautiful view out there. And when I'm in the kitchen, I can just look in that mirror and I, I see the view from all angles. I just love it. I also have to mention how much I love my bar stools, my counter height bar stools. I think the Buffalo check is fun. It's farmhouse. It's, it's casual. It's comfortable. And it's just, it's so me. These chairs are sort of my inspiration for how the hutch will look. Now, as I stated, I have downscaled the black and white check a bit. I'm going to cue the before picture of how the hutch looks without anything on it. It's a blank canvas. I do feel like an artist because art is is what you love. And even though you're decorating a hutch, you're getting to work your artistic thoughts and ideas into it. So yeah, we're all artists here, right? It's our way of implementing our ideas and our loves into that piece. So when you decorate, you tell yourself you're an artist and that furniture piece is your canvas. And go to town, have fun. I am in love with this product. It's called Pledge Clean It, and it's a multi-surface cleaner, and the smell is called Rain Shower. It smells so good. It's easy to spray. You know, a lot of like the wood furniture polishes or multi-purpose cleaners, the nozzles get stuck and, and it, they're hard to push. Super easy. It just sprays with such ease, and it smells amazing. Like I said, a blank canvas. Let's decorate. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start at the top and work our way down. If I can emphasize anything to you guys when decorating, lighting is for me one of the most important things in your home. It's going to be the difference of making a room look cold and dark or light and cheery and bright. So the middle portion of the room is key for good lighting because it is the darkest point in the space. So I want to light up the top and I, as you can see, I have a little lantern here and I'm going to link one that's very similar to this on Amazon because I get questions on it all the time. And then I bought a little teeny tiny lamp at a consignment store. You want to mimic this look because it is something I get asked all the time. Go to Goodwill and get a little tiny lamp. This, this, this glass lifts up. This lifts up and then you can take this completely off. 
and then just place your light on the inside, pull the cord out the back, and you are good to go. So I got a pair of cage lamps at Home Goods, and I've placed one here, and I'm gonna place one at the other end on the top of this hatch. A whole lot better A whole lot better I have had this sign for since we moved here completely just forgot about it it was sitting in the garage and it says rooted and established in love and faith and it has the wood frame around the edge love it I'm going to be placing this right here Now, I don't know if you guys can tell, but because I've got a vintage amber colored Edison bulb in the cage lamp, it really disperses the lighting beautifully. And it kind of at night will pick up on this sign and kind of light it up, illuminate it, if you will. So for that reason and purpose alone, I am a huge fan of these cage lamps. Okay, now we're gonna be decorating right here. Now that we have that side done, we're working on this side. And to fill in this space you see here, I'm going in with this huge tray. It has the black metal handles and it's rather flat and I'm just gonna lean it against the wall. Next, check out what I found on Amazon. I'm, I'm like really loving the little rustic touches here and there. So it comes just like this. Three bottles and uh, on this cute little rustic tray with this. Super, super cute. And you can put whatever florals in it. I'm gonna use dried florals and I'm gonna set it right there. So I have some of these and I'm just gonna place them in here. Just like that. Now I'm gonna go in with some hops. I found these on Amazon. I absolutely love them. I think they're beautiful. And I'm just going in to add some texture.
So I just want to point out something really quickly. The wood tone there matches the wood tone there, matches the wood tone there, matches the wood tone there, and even on the lamp base. So I really love how all, you know, the wood colors tie together. I'm keeping this simple as a standalone because I love the meaning behind the wording. And over here is just, it's just me. I just love this look. Okay, so I found these on Amazon. I think they're super cute. And for the price, I thought it was wonderful. I was thinking, you know, I could split these up or I could use them together or perhaps if I wanted to set them on top of a shelf and use them as a backdrop, that would give it a lot of visual interest. So these are extremely versatile, but what I'm going to do today is break them up. I'm going to put one angle that way and one angle that way on each end. I think that looks super cute. Love it. Next, I'm going to set it to music and you can just watch how I'm going to style this. I got these baskets from Target. 
and I ended up not using them in my new piece. So I found something else to put in its place. So I'm gonna place these one on either side just to add a pop of texture. <music> also get a lot of questions on where did I get this hutch and I got it Powell's Furniture. So if you have one in your area, that's where I got mine. Um, but you can also purchase these online and you can get them with the cabinets below or you can get them with the drawers and it's kind of open below. And all I did was add a couple of baskets. So you see right here, I have a trunk and in that trunk, holds a whole bunch of my flameless flickering LED candles. To that, I added this really cute rustic farmhouse riser. To that, a lantern, and all I did was place a cage light inside, ran the cord up and down the back, so you really don't even see it. You know, you see the cord over there. And then I added this piece on top of the trunk to add height. And I just love how it all goes together. I am a huge, huge fan of these vintage Edison bulbs. They just cast the most beautiful glow. And you can see at night, it warms up this space right here. And then it kind of illuminates this, which is super pretty. And this I found at an antique store. And I just added a little thumbtack and then hung this from the thumbtack. You say you're special, one of a kind, one of the better boys. I'm on your level, that's what you say, but all I hear is noise. I don't have time for trying my luck. I've been too hurt before, you're not that special. You guys are going to kill me because I know I said I was going to share my dining room table today, but I, after I finished this, I turned around and started playing with ideas on top of my table and I'm just not feeling it. I'm not happy with the way it's turned out. And when I share a video, I want you guys to have a takeaway, whether you like just a little something or a lot of something. I, I My hope is that you'll walk away and say, oh, okay, I have an idea for my house. I could do this or that or the other. And, and I'm just not feeling it today for some reason. I'm not liking the charger, so I really want to rethink it for Friday. But I'll tell you what I will do is on Friday, we'll do the table. We'll decorate the top of it. We'll do the wall over there. I'll, I'll show you how it ties in with this area and the kitchen. And I think you're you're gonna see my vision. It It's looking so cute and I love it. And this table has really lightened the space. Do I miss my other table? Yes, because my other table was more elegant looking, I would say, and, and it kind of brought in that color, but it was kind of weighing the middle of the room down. And my husband and my girls have all said, wow, it really lightens the middle of the room. I said, well, then I did my job because that's what I was aiming for. I wanted it light and bright. And so I think I succeeded there, but it is a much more 
casual looking table. So my eyes are still having trouble adjusting to it, especially with what I did on the wall there. I know this isn't making sense, but it will on Friday. But I think it's, I think it'll be cute. I just, I need to think it out a little bit more. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me and come back and see me Friday because we're going to tie it all together. All right, you guys, I love you. Thank you for your wonderful comments. I always love it when you stop by to see me and I will see you guys Friday. All right, I'll see you then. Bye guys. And it feels so good inside. When I hear that music, it gets